All right guys, so what we've got going on now is we're going to install the pressure tank. Now, how we choose to set up our pressure tank could be different from how other people choose to set up theirs. We do things to where it's strong and you have uh, good life and good longevity out of it. So what we've got, we've got a brass tank tee here, our pressure gauge, a brass nipple, and a 4060 pressure switch. Uh, you have to have a, a, a boiler drain, a tank drain on the bottom of your tank. Um, what we do when we come into our tank, we have female with the stainless steel ring, or you could choose to go with a, uh, a three quarter inch threaded male and come out and go into it that way. And then when we leave the tank, we leave with a, uh, a brass PEX male. Now that is three quarter inch thread by a uh, three quarter inch PEX male barb and we come out of that and go to our filter or go straight to the house depending on so if you run a 4060 pressure switch you're going to want to set the air pressure in your tank two psi below whatever the cut on is so we adjust the air pressure in the tank and we set it at 38 psi now you can only adjust your air pressure in your tank when there is no water pressure on the system that is very crucial now we're going to go under the house and start plumbing this thing in okay so we are under the house and it's a very clean crawl space but it's kind of angled if you can tell how big of a drop off we've got so we're kind of working on a steep hill um i have come under here I've got a really short shovel i had to dig a hole right here and i took my hammer drill and i drilled a hole through there that hole is two inches and we're going to slide an inch and a half pvc sleeve through the wall and our one inch pvc will come through that uh, sleeve and the wire will also come in through the sleeve and then we will take um some some caulk and put some caulk around the hole and possibly use some uh <clears throat> hydraulic cement to seal it all up and what we've got to do got to come out of that hole we've got a 90 up and we've got a 90 over here into this tank now I also I took the shovel and moved the uh, tarp back flattened the area out made it completely level put my concrete pad down that way the tank itself sits perfectly level okay if you can see here we've got our wire coming through we've got our sleeve pipe which is inch and a half we're going to let that stick through a few inches like so. That way we can get our caulking gun around that and seal it. And then once we got to clean all the dirt out. But uh, once we get the pipe through here, we'll put some caulking around here also. And we'll get that sealed up. Okay, before we get started, we have to go ahead and put some thread dope on this. We're going to use this right here. It's a Lake Coast Lick Tight. Works pretty well. You're going to want to make sure you get the threads covered nice and good. Okay, we've already got inside of there done. Okay, I'm going to take this. You want to make sure you do not cross thread it. And basically what I do is I tighten it all the way by hand as hard as I can get it. And then I do either one whole revolution with my channel locks or like three quarters of a revolution. You don't want to tighten it too tight. Okay. Now we can hook these together. So what I like to do, I like to take my pipe before I cut it, kind of just set it on there and get a rough idea of how high I need to cut it. So I need to come down to about this point here and I'm gonna cut it. Now you always cut it a little bit longer, that way you can always cut it again. Okay, we're gonna take our purple PVC primer here, dab that off, get that on there, that on there, and get our 90, okay. We're gonna let that dry a minute. We're gonna make sure we get the other side of the 90. It's hard to uh, make a video and do it all. I need three hands. 
All right, we're going to let the, uh, the primer dry for a quick second, and then we're going to put some glue on it. Okay, so we've got our glue. I'm going to put some glue on this right here. Okay, I'm going to put some glue inside of my 90. Now what I like to do is I like to push it on and turn it. Okay. We're going to do the same thing for down there, but I have to set the phone down in order to glue that and hold both pieces. Okay, now, since I haven't mentioned it, I do not have the pipe out here hooked up to the pipe that goes to the well yet. So I can still turn this without putting any stress on any fittings that are outside. And I can also slide it in and out depending on where I really want it to be. So I'm gonna set it somewhere around there. We're gonna go ahead and glue this up here. Put some on that. Just like that. Now all we have to do is run a 90 from here to here and another one connecting it to there. Now if you're trying to figure out exactly how long to cut your pipe, what I do is a rule of thumb. I take this pipe and I butt it up against that, just like so. And then I come over here and I look dead on top of it. And if I had some writing, I usually use my letters on my pipe as my... Uh, as my gauge. But basically, we're going to cut it right there. That will get us right about perfect. Okay, so as you can see, I cut it there, and we've got just the perfect little gap. And that'll be beautiful. So now we take this at a 90 degree, hold it, kind of eyeball it. And we look over here at the lettering and we say, okay, we want to cut it in between the N and the USA. All right, as you can tell, we've got the purple primer. I know my glue is messy, but we've got that. That's a perfect 90. We're going to go ahead and cut it here, put some primer and some glue and a 90 on it. And then we will be all hooked up on this side. Okay, so now what we're going to do before we hook our wires up... We've got this superior sealant, foundation sealant. It's pretty good stuff. We're gonna go ahead and put some down in this hole here. We're just gonna work it in with our finger and put it all over it. If this was a basement, I would be a lot more vigilant about getting it in there. I'm just going to take my finger and move it around the bottom. Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to take this flexible conduit. We have to slide the wire through it. It's going to go all the way down to the bottom of that seal. And then it's going to go into that hole of the pressure switch. And we're going to use this fitting here, which threads over the end of this. And then this Romex ring here gets tightened up and held onto the pressure switch. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now we have our wire. Take that and put that through our pressure switch. Give that a little tug, like so. That will be on there. And then all we have to do is put our ring on. Okay, now I'm just going to strip the wires out and hook them up. Alright, so we have got the Romex ring all tightened and the wires pulled out, stripped off. Now the rule of thumb with wiring these things up are, first of all, to pass code, you must label your white wire black. 
because they are 240 volt systems and they don't want you to think that the white wire is just a neutral leg. Understand that. Now, if you were wiring these things up, the easiest thing to remember is put your white wires beside one another and your black wires beside one another. If you do that, you can't mess it up. And another thing, don't wrap your wire around the screw and tighten it. All I do is I loosen the screw, slide the wire in, I bend the wire over, and I slide it in kind of like a banana and tighten it down. That's all you need to do. It's not going to come loose if you have it tightened well. You can do it down here to the ground wire, um, but not to those up there. When a, a technician comes out to service your system, he's going to need to get an amp meter around one of these wires in order to check to see if your pump is bad. So it's easy for us as uh, pump technicians to um, be able to take it on and off without having to worry about losing the screw. So <clears throat> that's basically what we've got. Give you kind of a, an overview of it. That's the way it looks. Nice and professional, and we have to cover the hole in, but the uh, inspector wants it all open to where he can uh, look down in there and make sure that we've sealed the hole. Um, and the electrician has to come mount a disconnect box, uh, either in the floor joists or on the wall, and it'll be electronic 240 volt uh, pulled style disconnect, and it'll come straight from that and go to the other side of the pressure switch. So, but that's his responsibility. Well, thank y'all for watching. Hopefully this video helped some of y'all. If, uh, if y'all have any questions, feel free to comment. I I'll be able to uh, answer any questions you have. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Thank you.